Kara Beach is packed with the people in the early morning who have come for the festival. People and children are enjoying the sea bath. The devotee Mr Jagannathan is adorning himself Silk sari tiny bells chilambu and sword with beads plays important role in in this worship feels himself as a bhagavati amman now he is ready for the worship his worship start with a song called bharani paattu Bharani Pattu is about the successful warrior who killed the demon Dharaka in the battle. They call their goddess Bhagavati through the song of Bharani Pattu with tapping the two sticks. Those who feel themselves as a goddess Bhagavati with the above costumes are called Komaram. When dancing to a Bharani Pattu, the sounds of tapping the sticks, chilambu, the bells on the waist, the bells on the sword inject as a kind of divinity. Many Komarams begins their worship in several groups across the Kara beach. Komaram spend the morning time on inviting the goddess Bhagavati with the divine dance to the Bharani Pattu. After calling the goddess and receiving divine grace everyone goes to the temple for important ritual and worship Kodungallur the festival is in full swing All the people of North Kerala and South Kerala were eagerly waiting to come together for this day large number of peoples devotees and many enthusiastic furious komarams are keep coming to the temple on this ashwadi day the meena month of kerala komarams plays an important role in this festival And now the most emotional main event the Kodungallur Bharani festival is about to begin Komarams are arrived in large numbers some will sing the Bharani paattu to the goddess of victory many will sing the vulgar theri paattu the goddess will willingly accept the song of both sides 
This is the ecstasy of Goddess Bhagavati Amme. Devotees also arrive the temple along with their traditional musical instruments. Jandai Melam, the traditional music of Kerala. All men Komarams wear the jewellery and bracelets worn by the woman and looks like a beautiful woman. However, they not to give up furiosity dancing. Here, a group with a large number of Komarams enter the temple. The whole temple complex is the sound of tapping sticks and bells. The lines of Tanaro, Tannaro seem to be a favorite of Amme Bhagavadi. Is there a divine grace that does not come to the music of the Pambai Melam? The furious divine grace comes us automatically to this music. This is the oldest music in Dravidan country. People in Dravidan country from their birth to death, this is inseparable music from them. If the drummer enjoys playing, the dance will come automatically to those who don't know what the dance is. Our legs will not stop if we combine with this music, even the drummer.
he will not leave the drums until he tear komarams performing their first ceremonial ritual worship near kolikallu moodal the ritual is to furious dance by divine grace and striking their forehead themselves with the sword many years ago people sacrificed hens offered toddy and worshiped the goddess the latter according to the rules of agama animal sacrifices were banned in the temple premises now animal sacrifice in this temple is currently a crime under the law now people is currently wrapping a red silk cloth around the kolikal and striking their forehead themselves with the sword to fulfill their prayers by intensive divine grace the komarams will be very aggressive it is impossible to control them komarams give their passionate dance to the war goddess the banana offerings worship for goddess are given to the people large number of komarams keep coming the festival is still weeding devotees and komarams are roaming around the temple they are singing and dancing for barani and teri paattu turmeric pepper hens coconut are thrown on the goddess tower this is a tribute to bhagavathi amme in the dance style of male komarams the elegance of woman is seen this is a sign of his incarnation as a bhagavathi amme during the final days of this festival Large number of devotees and komarams from far and wide visit the Kodungallur temple. There are more than 75 banyan trees. Each tree has a base which is called Nilapadu Thara. The komaram that came to the temple for Ashwathi Kavuthindal gathered in the Nilapadu Thara. Each tree belongs to each group. Gathered komaram groups in Nilapadu Thara are singing songs in praise of Bhagavathi Amme of Kodungallur. The festival officially starts with Kolikallu Moodal event from the Barani day on Malayalam month of Kumbha continues till the Barani day on Malayalam month of Meenam thus lasting almost a month every year after this Meena Barani festival the new year is celebrated all over in the Dravidan country then the people will cultivate paddy seeds The festival is to held to please the goddess Bhagavathi and enrich the earth. This is the day before the Barani day. The Ashwathi day peak time is too close now. People are so excited. Their unique songs with expressive sexuality are sung these days as an offering to the goddess. Such a festival does not take place anywhere else. The way it is celebrated shocking us. Bhatragali Devi Here loves the blood and she loves the barani part and vulgar teri part people's traditional costumes for this festival and bloody faces will fill the entire temple complex in red we need go to this barani festival at least once in our lives
crowds of the people across the temple complex from children to adults they are very angry and furious bloody faces why what is all this for we have to travel a lot backwards to know the best story of this temple we all know the kannagi the heroine of the true epic story chilapadigaram for the crime of stealing anklet kal chilambu appealed to the pandya king who had wrongly sentenced her husband to death after the unfortunate situation she snatched and threw one of her breast and cursed madurai the pandya empire to burn kannagi's curse came immediately she burned madurai for injustice done to her husband Her anger did not subside even after burning of Madurai she appeared to be extremely angry and frantic she started walking to be continued for 14 days and reached the part of Chera country the Chera country brought peace to her there she meditated united with the Kaliyammi and became a stone statue From that day onwards Kannagi was worshiped by the Dravidan people as Patni amma Kannagi amma goddess Kali Today's Kudungallur Bhagavathi Amman Temple is the place where she finally turned into a stone statue. Seeing Kannagi's tragic story, Chera King's wife regretted and she wanted to worship Kannagi as a chastity deity. So, this Kudungallur Temple was built by Chera King Cheran Chengutuvan 2000 years before. Charan Chengutuvan is the elder brother of Ilangovadigal who composed the true epic story Chilapadigaram. After the Charas kingdom, Aryans arrived and dominated most places of south. Later, the Kodungallur and the temple passed into the hands of principality of Trivandrum. Over the next few centuries, Adi Shankaracharya came and claiming that goddess statue was so angry fears and cruel it's not good for the world and the peoples then he installed five sri chakras to calm down the amme bhagavati after that goddess amme transformed to be a beautiful calm statue then myth story was told to peoples a demon named daruka was harassing the people and the royal kingdom this bhagavati goddess was created from the forehead eye of Lord Shiva to kill demon Daruka after the Daruka was killed in the battle the goddess returned with the bloody wounds all over her body this festival is to mark that victory of the goddess later the caste system untouchability became common in the Dravidian country until then people who had been worshiping their beloved deity for years were not allowed inside the temple for ahama rules The Barani festival shows the wrath of this downrotten caste as they all dance around the temple to symbolize their present to the beloved deity Kodungallur Bhagavathi Amme. They cut off their forehead themselves with the sword and express their anger. They show all of their frustration, helplessness and mental anguish in cursing the god. They knock on the roof of the temples with a stick and shout Amme Devi as if goddess will not see us. goddess quietly accept the wrath rebuke and curse of the people peoples and komarams go around the temple in a rage insulting the goddess and sang bharani paatu which said to calm the goddess 
on this ashwati day the main aspect is to desecrate the temple by insulting goddess and offering their blood as a gift this event is called as kavutindal which is the main part of this festival a member of the velan community present and auctioned the coconut to the head of the kodungallu royal family as soon as it was accepted the head of the state considered as polluted further the deity leaves the temple and the temple is closed for 7 days immediately the devotees will appearing angry rashidium and tap the temple doors walls ceilings with sticks currently the kavutindal is about to take place at the end of ashwati day the garuda will be visible for all where the auctioned coconut will be purchased by the royal family from the velan community then a red silk umbrella will be unfurled this is a sign that all category people can go inside the temple when garuda appears Kavutindal is done. The temple will be closed to the public for next one week for some purification rituals. It will then be opened for public use after performing Agama Pujas. Kodungallu Sri Bhagavathi Amma Temple is one of the most ferocious temple in the world. It is also the head temple for all Kaliyamman pilgrimages. Many of the mysteries surrounding the temple remain unclear. There are many historical aspects related to this festival which are still clearly not yet unknown. The Kanahi cult was started by the Chera rulers in Kerala is still preserved as Bhagavathi cult in Kodungallu. People still worship Kanahi as Kanahi Amma, Patni Amma, Goddess Kali and Sri Bhagavathi Amma. later according to the aryan's principle of agama and activism of saiva movement kannagi was considered as a incarnation of shakti so the remaining kannagi temples in rest of the dravidian country were transformed into the various names of female deities such as mariamma angala amma kamachi amma etc as a deity is with various names and various appearance kannagi amma is still worshiped by all dravidian peoples most indian stories are myths but silapadigaram is a true epic story sword bells waist bells remained as the sound of kannagi's anklet the single anklet in their hand symbolizes the glory of chilapadigaram